So, oops, you're drunk. Okay, you're sober. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly I can do that, fix it in post. <laughs> okay, so um, I do this uh, like a 40 second. Oh, first of all, I have to say, wait, don't do that. <laughs> <Don't> okay. <do> that. <laughs> um, so, first of all, I have to say, hi, I'm Denny Daniel, and I'm here with uh, Ming, Nadia. Nadia, I mean, uh, I'm Denny. Um, so um, I'm going to do this like a 42nd Street shell game. Now I'm born and raised in New York and I remember the shell games in 42nd Street Times Square. A guy would show up with three shells and he put a quarter under one of them and then he mixed up the shells and if you guessed which one had the quarter, you'd win something. The only difference here is I don't have three shells. There isn't a quarter under my packages and you win nothing. <laughs> so ethically, it's exactly like a shell game. <laughs> but there's one similarity. I am going to mix them up. So here I am mixing them up. Are you guys confused? Are you confused? Good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so each one of you can pick a package to open. So go ahead. Which one do you want to? That one and that one. Excellent. And there are your scuffles. Thank you. So you opened up a film. Um, let me see if I can figure out which film you opened. Um, usually he puts the name on it. I tell him to at least. Oh, this is perfect. This film is perfect because you're a very pretty girl and it's called Too Hot to Handle. <laughs> so this is Too Hot to Handle because clearly Ming is too hot to handle. Let me check. Yeah, much too hot. <laughs> That's a cool film. It's one of these cheesy, like, you know, risque films from the 70s. It's part of our risque. But this one is more of a comedy. It's a real ridiculous comedy. So it's going to be a very funny film. Um, and then let's see which one you opened. Let me see if I can. Happy birthday, Kevin. A birthday record. Uh -huh. Kevin, do you know Kevin? Yes. You do? Well, when he has his birthday, we can play this for him because we have a birthday show. We have uh -huh. the world's largest collection of birthday records. So this is Captain Zoom. And this guy from the 70s up until today, he still does this. I'm actually in touch with him. And he still owns the company, he moved to Florida. And he still does these, but digitally. But back then, he used to have these cool records. And originally, it was the ABC record company, and then he took it over. Uh, but yeah, they do custom birthday songs. So I've got 400 happy oh, birthday wow. 45s. Oh. So I send an email to you. Um, and can you pick up that phone and tell them send them up? Um, sure. So they would um, they would uh, make a custom record, or yes, if you're, we already have the name, you know, I actually have Eric. For this. Oh. I have Eric and Sharon. You do have uh, Yes, and I do well, have Natalie. Only one. Yeah, I do have Natalie. Uh, I don't have men, sorry. <laughs> if you if that name was popular in America in 1950, then I would have it, or 1970 for these. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I've got uh, all these different people singing happy birthdays. So now you opened up the Kevin one. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. And when your friend Kevin has a birthday, let me know. <laughs> so now you guys are museum curators. Good job. <laughs> and that's my show. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And let's say bye to the world. Bye, world. Bye. <laughs>